Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. This week I finally got around, <laughs> around, <laughs> I finally got around to building with our new rounded room tool. I wanted to build something funky and fun since this is my first time using the tool. So I decided to build a neon beach house. What I thought was going to be a fun and relaxing build turned into a disastrous nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known getting a new update tool feature with The Sims 4 would end up leading to lots of bugs and glitches. And it did. I'm really curious, have any of you been building with the new rounded room tool? Have you had issues? Is it just me? Maybe it's just me. <laughs> I have heard of others on Twitter that were having issues and that's actually what got me to thinking I should probably play test this build to make sure it works. So yeah, when I was getting into it and I had already started the interior, I realized that it was not functioning and I seriously almost scrapped this and I was so upset, but I don't like giving up on things. I am i don't like giving up. So I'm like, all right, I can try a few more things. I'm gonna try a few more things. And then even then I'm like, I'm not gonna delete it. I'll put it aside for later. And then hopefully if we actually get some fixes to the issues, then maybe it'll work. But yeah, I tried a few more things and then Finally, what I had to do was separate these two circles. I don't know why, but the game did not like those two rooms being together. Although with playtesting and working out some other glitches and other things, I think if I would have had walls up inside and then had a door or an archway, I think it would have worked because yeah, I did some other fixing of this build, but that's not what I was going for. I really wanted this to be an open floor plan and I wanted I wanted it to just feel really big and huge and I wanted your eye to be drawn to like this big circular interior, which was also very difficult for furnishing the, the interior. Very, very difficult. <laughs> um, and then when I had to basically like redo the floor plan and redo the outside. It threw me off so much and this took way longer than it should have. And now at this point, I'm like, you know what? I don't think I want to build anything with circular walls for a very long time. <laughs> I might incorporate like little areas and I think that's going to be good. But I think these giant like rounded pieces are just too much. I will also say there's a lot more editing in this video maybe than my other ones you might have noticed and it's because one I have to have the walls up for like especially doing things in the kitchen but the issue with these stupid rounded rooms is you can't click on anything and that was driving me insane so that also took a lot longer and things were just like the camera was kind of going crazy and I didn't want to make anyone seasick. So I edited out those like really, really bad parts. I learned later if you put the walls down, there's not that issue. It's not as bad, I should say. It's still kind of an issue, but it's a little bit better. So if that's the other thing, if you see the camera angles are kind of strange in this build and they're like way up high, I had no choice. I, I really had no choice. And you'll see later on, I'll put the walls down to place things. So it's not like just, <laughs> but yeah, that also really ruined the experience for me with building. So I would not recommend, like I said, building these giant, like huge rounded rooms. It was just horrible. <laughs> but otherwise I, I actually think this was kind of cool. I was a little worried when I had to change things up. I'm like, oh man, it's not gonna be how I wanted it to be. I'm like, is it just totally gonna ruin it? And like standing back a little bit and looking at it, I'm like, this is pretty close to what I wanted. So I was happy. Uh, the 
I have to say it like all the way on the right there's like a little circular thing there right now so that is going to be like an outdoor area and I ended up putting in um, massage tables in there so I figured that would be a great place for a massage which also that reminds me so this will be a residential lot on the gallery but I was really designing this with it being a rental beach house in mind I don't know I feel like this is kind of the party place this is like the the lights are awesome there ends up being a bar a hot tub but then it's like yeah I added in the massage tables there's massage chairs it's like I just wanted this to be a really like fun and relaxing place to go but you can also have it be just like a regular residential. There's only one bedroom, so the whole upper floor is completely open. And then there's an enclosed bathroom up there, obviously. So we have two bathrooms. We have a half bathroom and we have a full bathroom upstairs. So then that's the issue. It's like we don't have things segregated into multiple bedrooms. And that's what I was also thinking. I'm like, this is kind of a nice luxury vacation home and it's only really meant for like one or two sims. and But then, yes, I figured it's like, well, you know what? Maybe your friends are staying in the area and they all come to your beach house to have a party because this place is awesome. <laughs> Flynn, are you hiding in my hair? I actually had to restart this voiceover multiple times because somebody, somebody, some birdie was screaming in my ear. Oh my gosh. And now he's hiding in my hair. It's better than screaming. You don't want to come out? <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> but yeah, so the living room, I, yeah, this, like I said, this is really hard to get a floor plan. So when I actually stepped back and thought about things, I'm like, okay, well, the best way to feature a nice circular room is to bring your attention to the fact that it is a circular room. So I took these sectional pieces and made like this nice circular sectional, which is great because not only can you watch TV, but you can sit on the other side and have a great view. You can sit at the bar and have a great view. And then I put the lounge, the lounge chairs, the massage chairs in where the view isn't as nice because you're faced away from the windows. So you could watch TV and just relax. So that's why I was going with that. But anyways, how's your summer been? We're getting towards the end of summer. And for me, I'm super sad about it. I'm super sad. Summer is my favorite season. I do like fall. I have to say, I like the beginning of fall because the beginning of fall is nice or it's nice here. And then the end of fall is basically winter. <laughs> and I hate winter. <laughs> but yeah, have you guys been doing anything fun? Do you still have any fun plans for the rest of the summer? I have been so busy. I haven't really been able to do much of anything. I still have not been able to go swimming. I was really hoping I'd be able to go swimming this year. I am still optimistic that I will be able to go swimming before the end of summer, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. And I have to get super serious about training. Uh, we have a backpacking trip in the mountains planned. And yeah, I got to get super serious about training. Um, I would have started earlier, except the issue I've run into is, well, we've been wanting to do rocking, so carrying a decent amount of weight on our backs while hiking and being outside. I've tried now a couple, well, I tried a vest, which would have been great except the problem I'm running into is these things are not made for women. They're all made for men. So none of them fit me. The vest would have been so great because the weight would have been like super close to my back and that's ideal. The thing was too big. And then I got a backpack that I thought was going to be good. And as soon as I put it on, I walked a little bit. And I'm like, nope, this thing is going to destroy my shoulders. And I felt a kind of headache already coming on. I'm like, nope, I am not going to get a migraine. So now it's like I'm back to square one. I, I feel like the only thing I can do right now is I'm probably going to have to get my actual backpack out and unfortunately take everything out of it just to put the weight in so I can start training with the weight. Otherwise, I'm getting nervous. We had just 
this last week went on a intense hike that I was supposed to have my weight with and then yeah then that didn't work but the intense hike was good because I haven't really been doing hikes I've been doing workouts at home I do intense workouts at home but what I realize is when you're actually out hiking and going over rocks your ankles and your legs move in different ways that they normally don't move in so my ankles and mainly my ankles are not getting the greatest workout that they should because it's like yep after we got back from the hike the next day it's like oh yeah i could feel it like on the top part of my leg and i could feel like in my ankles it wasn't horrible but it's like yeah i gotta <laughs> i gotta get used to that again otherwise i'm gonna be so insanely sore with doing multiple day it's like 40 miles of a trip <laughs> so yeah that's what i gotta work on so hopefully i mean that's the plan to still do that well, um we'll see <laughs> if, I, if we don't have enough time to yeah if we don't have enough time to train then i don't know i really want to go I'm, I'm, i keep saying the mountains are calling me they do every year i love being in the mountains it's beautiful gorgeous and we're trying to finish this trail that we haven't been able to finish yet it's like yeah we keep running into issues first time was after we had covid and we both had issues breathing fun <laughs> we didn't realize so later like oh yeah that was covid we thought it was the elevation change but it wasn't yeah so that was not great and then we went last year and it was insanely rainy we did not have the greatest rain gear and we got super soaked. <laughs> not like the water gun. <laughs> we got soaked and we made the decision to go back because yeah, it's not worth getting hypothermia, hypothermia over. And it, we figured it's like if the whole trip is just going to be rain the whole time, it's going to be miserable. Yeah, so that was disappointing. So hopefully we can try again and with the time of year being different, I think it'll make a big difference because we went way too early in the year, the year last year. There was still a massive amount of snow, which we had to climb through and that took more time. But then also it's like when the snow melts, the water is higher, which yeah, we had to actually take boots off and go through a river, which that's not a big deal. But then also it's like on top of that, it was like, I don't know why it was so rainy. It should not have been that rainy. We went early enough that that shouldn't have been an issue and it should have just been the snow. So that was kind of frustrating. Are you having issues? Are you getting tangled in my hair? Or are you just grumpy? You wanna do peekaboo? Peekaboo. No. <laughs> Are you camera shy? Yeah? Peekaboo? No? I don't know. One of these days, maybe he'll actually get used to the camera and do something. <laughs> but yeah, let's talk about the build again. So we're on that upper floor now, and I did use a lot of the high school years things in this build just because, okay, number one, that circular rug, that fuzzy circular rug, might be my new fav my new favorite rug. Oh my gosh, I, lo I love that rug. And I kept using it in white because I was also trying not to distract from all the neon lights and colors in this place, which you're not really seeing as I'm building this. You will see it in the pictures, you'll see it in the video at the end, but it is so cool. So I wanted that to be like the main thing that your eyes are drawn to and I didn't want really a whole lot of other color although there are some really fun funky colors excuse me with that rug and it's I, I love it and okay I don't know if I yes I already placed it so I do realize I put in a clothing rack that's supposed to be for the thrifty shop I realized that but it's just for decoration and we have a functional dress dresser that's by the bed so it's not an issue that whole area is just kind of made to look fancy and fun that's just what I was going for mainly for the looks but we do still have uh, the functional elements that we need in the build 
But yeah, so we're out on the balcony. So yeah, we have our massage area and then we have that upper balcony that you can look over the water with the hot tub and the fire pit. And I am realizing that I put a chess table inside and outside. And now I don't remember if I may have swapped out the chess table inside. I think I did. And then somehow I forgot to record that. So <laughs> I think there's only one chess table. Otherwise that's kind of, I don't know. These people really like chess. <laughs> chess is a big thing in Sulani when you come on vacation. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I think there is only one, but yeah. So we're doing, we're finishing up the landscaping. We are once again, getting to the end of the video. So we are going to wrap things up. Thanks so much for watching everyone. We hope you have an amazing week. And if you're not already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, turn on those notifications and we will see you all next week, everyone. Bye. Say you love me, say you don't Just give me something so I can move on Pull me closer or push me away Let me know if we'll be okay Cause I can't stand another moment of you playing with my mind. I'm so tired and never know it. So spell it out. Cause I won't stay awake till morning. I won't stay another night. If you're feeling something for me, I say it now. Sometimes you don't show it enough